what you've been looking for mm-hmm. Trust me, I, I don't want to feel no more This is Mylin here, um, aka Supra Woman um, and San at S1 Built. Um, as you guys know, we have recently developed a all-wheel drive trailing arm kit for mainly for Hondas, and we have them in two different forms. Um, we have them in the do-it-yourself kit as well as the completed bolted-on kit. Um, it appears there's a lot of questions out there as to how to install these kits and whatnot. So we have decided to make this short video clip um, in hopes to help you guys see how simple it is to, do, to install these kits. And of course, if you guys have any questions um, after watching this video, um, you can always reach out to us on our pages. And save um, a lot of money. <laughs> and save um, saving money. Yeah, these kits are actually um, nowhere near the cost of the kits that you will find out there. Um, they, you know, for quality, um, and with us, we're quality over quantity. Um, so, with the quality that we have here and the prices, it's really unbeatable. Um, there's kits out there that are not, you know, the best of quality yet, three to four times the prices um, compared to ours. So that's just an FYI. But again, um, we're just doing this short video clip to provide you guys with some information as to how simple it is to install these kits because I know that there's a lot of questions out there about the, ki the kits that we have and how to install it and all. So we're doing this um, to help everyone else out. All right. So here we are with our trailing arm kits. We have the do-it-yourself kit as well as the completed kit. But today we're going to mainly focus on the do-it-yourself kit um, so that you guys can see how simple it is to do it yourself. This is the uh, do-it-yourself kit. This is what comes with the do-it-yourself kit. Basically, do it yourself, you're doing it yourself, and you save money. That's it. Bottom line, it's um, uh, what comes with the kit. This is the basic the hub spindle. It gets this piece here. That's um, made uh, to go on stock, stock trailing arms, um, EG, EK, DC, EF, DA. They're all the same arms. So uh, when we get it, what we like to do is basically uh, have a bare arm, everything taken off, the spindles and all that and everything. These holes right here, we're going to be utilizing these factory holes. So none of this stuff gets cut, you know, um, and plate welded on and all that crazy stuff. So the only thing that, that gets uh, cut in here is this thing gets drilled out, like right this part right here, to accommodate the axles. Um, this is the actual one that's drilled out the two and a half inch. Um, for it, so you still see the whole steel there and all that and everything. And another thing that's drilled out is this plate right here, this uh, support plate right here. Just drill it out, and you see how it's done. So this thing is drilled out. There's a uh, right here. This that all these holes are just drilled out. So once this thing comes out, so basically, and once this gets um, taken out, this drilled out, you're ready. You're ready. This is all you, that's the only prep you really got to do with the kit. Um, too close So now, with this kit here, um, what I'm going to do is basically uh, weld this in here, you know, weld it in here. That's the wrong size. So, uh, this course will come dimple dyed already and all that, like this. Is. We're just showing you, you know, the thickness and all that. It's the same thickness as the uh, trailing arm, so um, so that should give it a lot of support. Um, the reason why we give this um, the gusset plate back here 
is for mainly um, if you auto crossing and all that thing. This actually will add a lot, a lot of strength to this. It won't flex. It won't, you know, you feel your arm flex and all that and everything. So once this thing gets put on, you can see it. So all this thing gets welded, you know, welded, welded, welded. Out uh, here, welded. So if you can see the finished one should be just something like so. Let's see how we did it. See through all there and all that. So here, here. Um, so that's okay. Once that gets put on, okay, welded on, just like so. Of course, like I said, it'll be all. This will actually brace the you know, same concept as um, um, bracing your lower control arm, your stop one in the old days, you know. Um, uh, let's see. So once I weld, weld it on, all right, the next thing you got to do is these spindle hub assembly um, gets put on. So, uh, what you got to do is um, so we provide these eight holes, I mean uh, bolts for these holes right here, or factory holes, um, it goes into here. So uh, what you do is put this in, let's see, make sure I got the right side. So it goes in here, as you can see where the holes is at. And as it gets put in, it gets put in here with these four bolts, okay? Once that gets put in, basically that's what you're looking at right there. Once it's put in, all right? Once that gets put in, flip this around, flip this around, okay? It's gonna be down here. And what we recommend you doing is um, weld this right here, a little spot weld, and all this along here, along here added strength you can see that's what we did with this right there here here and then back over here so so um so it's just added strength you know you got the four bolts you got this welded um so this is not going nowhere it's not going away you ain't breaking this oh and what the cool thing about this is is you got this piece right here. Most kid out there, they have to weld this thing together to get the bracket and all that. So this is part of the bracket. So it's really, really strong. And it's made for uh, disc conversion already. So even if you give us, an, you know, if you, you could do it to an arm that's, um, that's disc or drum. It's the same arm, but this will convert it into a disc break for you already. So you don't have to buy go out there, make or buy another piece here. You know, that's just more money that you gotta spend. So, um, let's see. Once that gets done, of course, we supply you with a two bearing. These are from a Civic Wagon um, bearing. So it gets pressed in, as you can see, it gets pressed in. Um, you know, make sure when you press these in, you're not pressing, you're pressing out here. Because if you press it here, you're going to damage this bearing. All right. Um, so it gets pressed in, and then the clip, you can see where the clip's at, uh, gets um, put on to hold that down. And then from there, of course, um, you know, you got the wagon hub. You got the wagon um, hub that gets pressed into here. So this what it look, basically that's what it looked like when it's pressed in and all that. So that's, uh, uh, and also we supply you with two of these, uh, two of these uh, lower control arm bracket. Um, the reason why we did this right here is for better um, angle alignment, because you don't want your, you know, you don't want your axle sitting like this, especially when you road race, you want it as straight as possible. You want as straight as possible and all that and everything. Um, and also, getting it welded, um, it gets welded onto here. We also uh, got a bracket that's, uh, that's gonna support this. So the whole thing gets welded. This part here gets supported, supported back here um, and all that, you know. Um, 
And then if, if you can look at, if you come look over here, it's actually moved down an, an inch. It's moved down an inch from the original. The reason why it's moved down an inch is because if you have a control arm, let's see, uh, come over here. You got this angle right here. The control arm, when you have this, in most lower car, this arm will actually be pushed up. Will be pushed up, and your your angle actually instead of being straight like this, where it's designed, it's actually sitting like this. So we moved it down an inch for a better uh, lower control arm angle. So you know a lot of stuff that we design stuff like that. It's made for more than just drag racing. It's uh, you know we some other racing uh, in mind. On a cross and stuff like that. So. All right, that concludes our um, little video clip to help you guys um, understand or, or see how easy, how simple it is to install these do it yourself kits. Um, and we hope that that really helped everyone out um, as to all the questions that you have. But if you have further questions or further concerns, um, you can email us once again at staff at s1build.net or you could um, contact us via our Facebook page, page or our Instagram page, which is also S1 Built. Um, and also, we're actually gonna be doing a, uh, a full video of um, the, the actual, the actual, you know, we're actually gonna make it. And then we're actually gonna show you the video and all that. Um, just stay tuned, stay tuned for that. And uh, right now there's a lot going on. Um, that we're trying to finish up and all that and um, so hopefully we'll have it within Within a week or so the full video of how it's done and we'll show you step by step and how it's done, you know um, All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching I can fly.